Easy, this is Mike Kiss and this channel is called Mike Kiss You. This video is about gain staging. I'm going to show you a bunch of tips that are going to help you get better mix downs, give you more headroom, get your plugins really singing and also we're going to look at fader resolution. Faders are much easier to use up here than they are down here. So let's jump in over here and have a little look. Right, so we are in Cubase 10 and this is a cheeky little loop, something I'm working on. I've bumped it down from the project as if I was about to start mixing it. Um, it's really rudimentary at the minute, but I've adjusted a few of the faders just to get a rough level of how I want it to sound, just to show you this whole gain staging principle. Um, I'll quickly play it for you and keep an eye here on the stereo out. Check out the old level here and look how much headroom we haven't got. Let's play that. It's clipping. So as you can see, it's pretty much clipping and we've got no headroom whatsoever. So all of these sounds together are just cane in it. Um, and giving us no room to work with. What I'm going to do now is set all my average levels to minus 18 dBFS, which is equivalent to zero decibels analog. I'm going to link all these channels together first because I want all my faders to be at zero, which is called unity gain. We basically click link here. Also, if I click absolute mode, it means whatever I put in one, it will happen to all the others, which makes life easy. Check that out. Turn that back off. Let's unlink them. So ideally you want everything averaging minus 18, as mentioned, with your faders on zero. That way, when you do make adjustments, you don't have to make such drastic adjustments. Uh, what that helps with is, you know, control really, because you can see here between zero decibels and five, minus five, you know, it's quite a big gap. So you get quite nice control, minute control, if you like. Whereas down here between 30 and 40, look at that, that's 10 decibels, that tiny little bit. So always best to work up the top. So what I will do is start with the kick drum. I'm going to solo it. And if you don't see this pre-rack, it's because you need to click racks and uh, turn it on. It's not on by default. So let's solo the kick drum. No, that's a reverb channel. Let's solo the kick drum. I'm going to adjust this gain level here till I get to about minus 18 dBFS. Like I say, just a rough average. It's not an exact science. It is maths though. That's pretty good. I'm just going to quickly speed up the footage and uh, fly through these. So I've quickly adjusted all of these um, and very roughly Let's just mute that one. And already we've got six decibels of headroom just by adjusting the levels. Now what we can do is just make much smaller adjustments to our mix to get us where we want to be. I'm just going to quickly do that now. So I've just adjusted some of the track and as you can see nothing too drastic here which is quite nice um, and you know I've got a minus of 8 decibels headroom just by doing that. Um, so that really simple trick there has given us loads of room to play with, more room to play with and much more space. Your master is really going to thank you for it too. Also. 
if you are going to add an EQ or compressor plug into the channel, which you might do at this stage, what is good to do is to set that. So if we were to say, let's just do an EQ on our kick drum. That's the wrong one. Do it on this one. Like that. So, you know, as soon as we start adding or subtracting, we're, we're going to adjust the levels. Um, and at that point, I'd be tempted, you know, to either mark where it was or put it back to zero. And either turn it down in the plugin. So we're averaging. Or used again. So even after we've started adding plugins or using effects, we've still got a nicely balanced mix with headroom, which is the whole purpose of gain staging. I mean, really, that sums it up. You know, it's quite a basic principle, but I found it really helps. Um, I'm learning all the time, so please do leave comments below if there's a better way to do it or you just want to add to this discussion. That would be awesome. Um, look forward to hearing from you. That's it for now. Peace out.